Hey everyone, it's Adra. As you can already tell from the title, today we will be making a Valentine's Day theme room decoration that can also be used to make us a perfect gift for both a boy or a girl. I don't want to make this intro too long, so let's just get into the video. You'll need the following. Paper. I'm using red because, you know, Valentine's Day. We can go ahead and use whichever color or colors you want. A writing utensil, scissors, and glue. Let's begin. The first thing you need to do is draw as many different size hearts as you want. You can do this by either freehand drawing them, using an actual heart mold to trace out of, or use Word or any other program in your computer and just print them out. Once you're finished and have as many hearts of as many sizes as you want, you want to carefully cut them all out. I ended up making 3 big hearts, 4 medium size, 30 small medium, and 12 tiny ones. Now grab a heart and at the top where both arcs meet, with your scissors cut a slit a bit deep into the heart. It should look something like this. Now fold each side of the cup back and crease, but you don't want a harsh crease. Just enough so it'll stay in place. You should have a V shape in the front and two little tabs in the back. Make sure both tops are leveled so that when they connect in the back, one is not taller than the other. Make sure you don't have them meet in the front because that would form a spoon-like effect and that's not what we want. They need to connect in the back so that the belly of the heart pops up. That's what gives it that cool 3D effect. Now add glue to both tabs in the back. You can use liquid glue, but I think glue stick holds better. I did not try hot glue because it is paper, but you can give it a try. I'm sure it'll dry faster. Just be careful. Now connect them at the back and hold in place until it dries and you can let go without them separating. Once it dries, it should look something like this. If the top doesn't convince you or one side is taller than the other, you can always go back and touch it up with your scissors. Once it's how you like it, it should look something like this. Another method you can use to get the same effect and which I personally think is much easier to handle especially with the smaller size hearts, is the following. You want to begin in the same way, with the slit cut a bit deep into the heart like so. Now instead of folding each side back to create a V shape, all you have to do is add glue to the back of one side of the heart and cross to overlap the side with glue over the side without it. This will make the heart's belly pop up, giving it that cool 3D effect. Hold it in place until it dries and you can let go without it falling apart. Once it dries, it should look something like this. Here you can see a comparison between the two. The final result is ultimately the same, but I kind of like the second method better just because it's easier to handle and in the end result, you can't really tell where the heart was connected. Feel free to use whichever method you like best. I'm just giving you options. I did this by simply getting a piece of double-sided tape, placing it at the bottom peak of the heart, and sticking it on the wall. I think these are much more fun than regular old two-dimensional hearts and just as easy to make. If for any reason you're not able to do that, simply pour them in a jar and place them wherever you'd like. Finally, if you're looking for a gift idea for your significant other, you can pour the hearts in the jar, a box, or whatever container you want to use, along with love notes. The 
your favorite candy. It's really all up to you. To decorate it, all I did was add this square of red wrapping paper left over from Christmas under the lid so that it hangs out of the jar and it doesn't look so basic. But you can go ahead and do whatever you want. And I think this can make a perfect, inexpensive, yet thoughtful gift for both him or her. Now, if you want to give this to a friend, simply replace the love notes or things like your favorite moments together, funniest inside jokes, craziest memories. Their favorite candy, things like that. Really, you just have to get thoughtful and creative with it. Make it pretty and bam, you got yourself a perfect gift for both him or her. Unfortunately, that is it for today. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you tried these out or happen to recreate them, shoot a picture of it and share it with me. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Or you can also just use the hashtag DIYSudra. Feel free to leave me any comments or suggestions on what you would like to see on my next video. If you enjoy watching and like what I do, please take a moment to subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. Stay tuned and until next time. Bye!